kids are back in school and that means healthy lunches and healthy breakfasts for most of our children. I'm Jackie McReynolds from the Webster County Health Unit. And even though schools do follow the state regulations for healthy food, it may be that there's a meal they're having that your children just don't like the sound of. If that's the case and you're going to be packing lunch, we have a few suggestions for how you can make that meal very healthy for children. It's also very important to get your children involved in that process so they have participation in packing their own lunch. A couple of things to think about as you're packing sandwiches, try to use a whole wheat bread or a whole grain bread rather than a white bread. It's going to add a little bit more fiber for the children and less sugar content. When you're choosing a drink, even though drinks do say 100% juice, oftentimes they have a high percent of sugar in them, so make sure you check the nutrition facts. This particular juice has 22 grams of sugar. So a healthier choice might be water or milk. Another thing to do is to make sure you're adding a fresh fruit or a fresh vegetable. Children need several servings of those every day. That's an easy way to get that in. And then some easy substitutions. Instead of packing cookies or chips, think about popcorn if they have access to a microwave or an individual size package of nuts. You might also think about healthy granola bars or peanut butter crackers that adds that extra protein along with the carbohydrate. And then of course string cheese and yogurt are great choices for helping them get their calcium for the day. Just keep in mind if you are packing items that are going to need to be refrigerated, be sure and throw in an ice pack to keep those items cool if they won't be eaten within two hours of leaving your home. Be healthy, be safe, help your kids pack that healthy lunch and enjoy their day. This is Jackie McReynolds from the Webster County Health Unit.